When it comes to special elections this year, Democrats are feeling pretty optimistic. 30 different special elections so far in 2023. When you look through this list, you see Democrats overperforming their baseline over and over and over again. Because last night, Florida Democrats scored their biggest election victory in years in Jacksonville. Democrat Donna Deegan shocked the state with an upset win in her bid to become the first female mayor of Florida's most populous city. Virginia State Senator is now in the history books. Jennifer McClellan has won a special election in Virginia's 4th District. This means she'll be the first black woman to represent Virginia in Congress. Last night in New Hampshire, Democrat Hal Rafter defeated Republican James Gazowski 56 to 44 in a special election to fill a Republican-held seat. It was a Trump district until last night when the Democrat won by 12 points. Supporters of abortion rights in Ohio are claiming a huge victory this morning after voters rejected a measure that would have made it harder to amend the state constitution. Ohio, we did it. We did it! It was a huge win for democracy last night in Wisconsin. Wisconsin voters have made their voices heard. This was a voter uprising. This was a state that has suffered through blow after blow after blow. But last night, voters cast their final ballots and said absolutely no more. The data is all pointing in the same direction, which is that Democrats are kicking ass. If you look at the special elections that have happened over the past few years, and look at places like Wisconsin, the Supreme Court race here, you look at what happened in Ohio in terms of the ballot measure, Democrats are overperforming our partisan lean in those elections. And so I, I know polls are important for a lot of folks, but the most important poll is what happens at the ballot box. And, and so there's a lot of energy on the ground. I'm excited about it. And I think in the end of the day, Joe Biden and Kamala Harris are going to do what they do, did in 2020. They're going to bring out a record number of people uh, to support their agenda, which is based on delivering for the American people.